Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engine Pritham and in this 80th video on PTC Creo Parametric. In this video, we will talk about a tool that kind of feels me that I am free to do anything in this very constrained environment. Today, we will talk about warp and it is entirely different from wrap that we have covered in our last video. If you want to see that video, then check out the link that i have provided already in the description of this one so let's talk about warp and as the name suggests it is used to change the shape of solid quilt facets and curve by transforming rotating scaling stretching warping bending twisting you name it okay so i clicked on warp the first thing here we need to do is we need to select the geometry so i'm going to select this geometry and then it automatically detected the coordinate system and here are the tools okay so now let's start with transform as the name suggests it will help us to make our geometry either smaller or bigger and actually let me have a look if i can control this using parameter so i would say this is one of the thing that you know if i let's say change it we changed it but there is uh, no parameter that how we are controlling it so this is the only or i would say biggest drawback of this tool so here you can see we just pulled it and how you gonna know how much we increased or decreased it so for that you need to go here in option and now here you can see scale so you can basically control how much you would like to transform so i'm gonna say two and now here you can see this is two times the scale of original size and then um, you can control whether you would like to go with opposite or center so it is totally up to us and now uh, let's click ok so here we can see our model initially was this big and let me also see the dia of it so 150 300 after scaling to 2 it is now 600 and 300 so we just saw how we increase the size of it using wrap and it is not only just to increase or decrease the size as i said you can do much more with it again go back to model tab and then editing warp now this time again i'm gonna select the object and let's click on warp now you will see that i can do much more okay so here you can see the direction reference and i just pre-selected this particular one and there we go here you can see how we can play with this tool so you can do all these things right and then we also can go here in option and again can control this using parameter so this kind of give you flexibility such that you can form geometry which is not easier or i would say you need to visualize a lot when for example you would like to create it using other feature so now here we can see how this geometry look again um, in the same way you can find a more such use case for example here the spine so again uh, we need to select the spine but seems like we don't have that's okay you just need a curve that you can utilize as a spine now let me again go back here warp and then select the geometry and this time let me select this twist okay and here you can select the direction of the twist okay if you select this direction you can twist it like this or uh, let me change the axis by clicking here on next axis and now this is the axis let me again back and this time it is toward z direction and now if i rotate it i don't think so anything will happen because this is circle right so uh, let me again uh, make undo and then change the axis and this time let's try to rotate this direction and here also if i click on this marquee we can control it like for example you only would like to twist it from halfway so i can say from 50 and here you can see we only have twisted it from the half and uh, we can also play or customize it for example you would like to you know instead of working in percentage you can go with absolute you can also go offset or proportional so it is totally up to us and then you can customize based on your requirement now let me click ok and this is how the geometry now look which i'm gonna say really challenging to visualize how if you would like to create 
using extrude revolve sweep or sweep blend we need to think of right now let me again delete it and again let's go here in editing warp and this time let's click on sculpt now uh here we can see we again have an option to play with it and there we go so this is the way how you can work with it so i'm gonna say you can try by yourself and then uh let us know what do you think about this tool so here we also have option you know to further uh, fine tune your uh, settings for example you can increase the number of rows and columns that give you even more better control or finer control so in this way guys we can create a very intricate profile with ease using a warp tool and i'm gonna say this is one of the most interesting tool that i found in ptc crew parametric that kind of give you freedom uh, to you know change your model with ease that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such videos related to engineering and to follow entire ptc crew parametric course from beginning let's catch each other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye